Artist versus Influencer Hi there fellow art enthusiasts! Today we're diving headfirst into the epic battle of the century, the artist versus the influencer. Or is there any confrontation? Should a visual artist be also an influencer? It does expand the job description, but also the possible income streams. So why and how to use social media and staying sane while doing it, while being a creative soul that is here on the planet to create visual art? Let's go! Point 1. Visual arts is less in mass media. Be your own media empire. Let's face it, folks. Visual arts sometimes get short end of the stick when it comes to mass media coverage. But if you're not... Why wait for others to shine the spotlight on your masterpieces when you can be your own media empire? YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, these platforms are begging for your artistic content. Get out there and make some noise. Point two, tools for selling and raising interest. Being an artist influencer isn't just about showcasing your talent. It's also a fantastic tool for selling your art and generating interest in the collectors and also galleries. Sometimes when you embrace the power of social media, you can watch as your creations fly off the easel into the hands of eager buyers even before you finish them. That has happened to me. Point three, be lookout for the scams. The other artists who have noticed that social media is their oyster is the con artist. Be look out if someone asks your money for either for exhibiting, sharing or creating NFTs of your artwork. These people make their living out of the artist and not the other way around. Point four, the barrels of overworking. Just because you can do it all doesn't mean you have to. Let's not forget that there are legit, incredible galleries, agents and managers out there who can handle the nitty-gritty while we focus on what we love most, creating art. They can help you share your art on a larger scale. So let go of that control freak inside you and delegate. Point five, the power of community. Every artist needs a tribe, right? Surrounding yourself with like-minded artist friends is not only great for inspiration and collaboration, but it also helps to keep you sane in this crazy world. So go out there and find your creative comrades. Trust me, they'll be your saving grace when you're knee-deep in paint and in desperate need of support. Point six. Share your art if you're not comfortable with self-exposure. Here's a little nugget of wisdom for those of you who cringe at the thought of putting your face, body or voice out there. Guess what? You don't have to. Share your art instead. Your creations are the true stars of the show and they can speak volumes on their own. No need to be in the spotlight if you hate it. But if you are willing to become the superstar of your own life, you will have more content to post. Besides the artworks, you can photograph your art in your studio and yourself with your art. And point seven, people are interested in the people behind the art. You know, when it comes to music, movies or even writing, people are always curious about the genius minds behind those creations. So why should visual arts be any different? It's also easier to make a purchase from a person whose face you've seen. Point eight. If it lights you up, do it. Here's a golden rule. If it ignites a fire in your creative soul, then do it. But if it feels like a track, well, let's just say there's no harm in passing on that one. Find your passion and follow your bliss. If you don't want to be in the spotlight, it's not necessary. Do you, unless you've never even tried it out of fear. Point nine. Try it before you judge it. Now, here's a little challenge for all you skeptics out there. Before you pass a judgment on being both an artist and an influencer, why not to give it a whirl? Explore different avenues, experiment with various platforms and see what happens. You might just discover a whole new side of yourself and your art in the process. Point 10. Privacy. It's okay to keep some things offline. Now let's talk about privacy, my friends. Remember, whatever you put out in the internet can potentially be there for 
ever. It's perfectly fine not to share every single aspect of your life. Take a moment to think about what you're comfortable sharing and respect your own boundaries. And don't forget to have a chat with your loved ones too. They deserve a say in what gets shared as well. Point 11. Make a posting schedule serve yourself. Now, let's talk about the infamous posting schedules that float around the internet. You've probably heard the advice. Once a week for YouTube, twice a day for Instagram, and so on. But here's a reminder. Don't let these rules dictate your creative journey. The algorithm keeps changing anyways. Trust me when I say that social media is a tool meant to serve you not the other way around. You can take breaks. It's essential to prioritize your joy and maintain a healthy balance with your creative process. If adhering to a strict posting schedule drains you out of your creativity or takes away the joy of creating, it's time to reassess. Instead, embrace a posting schedule that works for you, for your energy levels and your creative flow. Find a rhythm that allows you to create authentically without feeling overwhelmed or forced. Remember your followers value quality over quantity and they will appreciate your genuine creations whenever they come. Social media should enhance your artistic journey, not diminish it. Listen to your instincts, prioritize your well-being and let the joy of creating shine true. Point 12 the positive impact of a little pressure. Let's explore the delicate balance between serving yourself and the positive impact that a little pressure can have on your creative journey. While it's crucial to prioritize your well-being and joy, sometimes a gentle nudge can keep you motivated and on the track. Consider this. Participating in a month-long challenge or setting a specific goals can be that kick in the butt you need to keep creating consistently. We all have those moments when we love to draw or paint, but life gets in the way and before we know it, we're mindlessly scrolling through streaming platforms. A little pressure can help break that cycle and keep you focused on what truly brings you happiness. However, it's essential to find the right balance. A little pressure can help you overcome inertia and lead you to where you truly want to be. Point 13. Embracing vulnerability and imperfection. We have learned that social media can create an illusion of perfection. Whenever it challenges, that is when it gets interesting. While it can be intimidating to put your artwork and yourself out there, it's true vulnerability that true connections are made. When you open up about your creative process, share your challenges and reveal the stories behind your art, you invite others to connect with you on a deeper level. That's when you create an authentic and relatable experience for your audiences. People appreciate genuine moments and raw emotions that come with being an artist. So don't be afraid to share the highs and lows of your artistic journey. Your vulnerability can inspire and encourage others to embrace their own creativity and authenticity. Remember, vulnerability doesn't mean oversharing or sacrificing your boundaries. It's about finding the balance and sharing what feels comfortable and meaningful to you. By allowing yourself to be vulnerable, you create a sense of community that goes beyond the surface level. That's when you create a lasting impact. And there you have it, my fellow artists and potential influencers. Remember, when it comes to sharing online, respect your privacy and set your own boundaries. Share your art and if you're willing to step in the spotlight, embrace your unique self with accents and all. You never know where it takes you. If you try it, you might just become the next well fed artist in the art world. Stay creative, stay fabulous and keep on shining your artistic light. I am Ellie and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by, inspire and be inspired. Until next time.